The developers behind Lineage OS recently announced a build is available for the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 series. And in looking through the installation process on this, I noticed that they recommend using a program called Heimdall. And they're basically using this program to flash a custom recovery so that we can install the Lineage OS recovery on that device. And then it's from there that we can ADB sideload the actual custom ROM. Now Heimdall is not a program that I've mentioned here on the channel. I don't have very much experience with it in general. However, I have been looking through it as of late so that I can get this installed on my Galaxy Note 10. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up Heimdall on your computer. Now, for those who are not familiar, Heimdall is a cross-platform open source tool that is designed to interface with download mode on Samsung devices. As you may know, download mode is very similar to fastboot mode, and fastboot mode is not on the Samsung devices. So we are not able to run fastboot.exe to interface with the Samsung devices. This is not news. You likely already know this. This is why we use a program called Odin in order to flash custom binaries on our Samsung Galaxy devices. One of the major benefits of Heimdall beyond it being open source is that it is cross-platform. So even if you are not running Windows, you are able to run this on Linux or Mac OS. I'll be including these Linux and Mac OS instructions in the video description. So you can check that out if you want. I'll be covering the Windows setup instructions in this video. And you can also look in the video description for the download link for this program as well. And once you do that, we can go ahead and extract the contents of that zip file. And then I'm going to show you how to go through the rest of these setup instructions. So here we have the zip file that was downloaded. We can extract this. I use the program called 7-Zip to extract. And then we are given these files. Now what we're going to do as per the instructions on the website. Once we have extracted the contents of these files, we're just going to hold the shift button on the keyboard and right click on an empty spot of this same folder that has these files in it. And when we do that, you're going to see a new option here called open PowerShell window here. And that's going to open up a PowerShell window similar to the command prompt. So we're going to type out the command Heimdall space version and press enter on the keyboard. If everything's set up correctly on your PC, you should see an output version right here. If you do receive an error message, it's likely because you are missing a distribution package of Microsoft Visual C++. Again, I'll be including a link in the video description for those who need this download. However, if you see this version number right here, then you're on your way. Everything is currently set up as it's required, and we can begin the next step. We're going to need a Samsung device in download mode, and we do that by powering off the phone. Waiting a couple of seconds after the device is shut down pressing and holding the volume up and volume down buttons, and then inserting a USB cable while continuing to hold both volume up and volume down buttons. 
This should bring you to a download mode splash screen where we can press the volume up button to bypass and enter download mode. Now again, I'm going through the install instructions for Windows users. So I'm going back to this Hemdal directory and you should see a Zadig exe file. This is for installing the necessary drivers. So we're going to double click on this exe file, open up the file. From here, we're going to choose options and then select the list all devices option. Now we're going to use this drop down here and we're either going to look for either Samsung USB composite MSM8X60 gadget serial or device name. So if you see any of these options in this list, that's the one we want to select. You can see we have gadget serial in this list. And remember, this needs to be done while the Galaxy, while the Samsung Galaxy device is connected to the PC with a USB cable. Zadig needs to recognize and detect that device because then we need to come here click on the replace driver button right here make sure the install driver option is selected and then click the replace driver option we're told if you are prompted with a warning that the installer is unable to verify the publisher of the driver, you are to select the install this driver anyway option. And you may receive two more prompts related to security issues. We are manually doing these changes. So these are okay to install anyway. We need to do this because we need to have the proper drivers installed because we will not be able to execute the next command if our drivers are not installed properly. Now, if you are not on Windows, if you are on Linux or Mac, you are likely able to skip this entire Zadig step. This is only for Windows users. And again, once we finish with the replace driver option, we can X out so that we can go back into our PowerShell. Now, similar to our previous command, this right here is going to be a verification check only. We're only doing this command right here to make sure everything is set up properly. So we type out the command Heimdall space print dash Pit. Again, Heimdall, just like we typed it out before. You can do auto tab to complete, just like I did, if you want. Space print dash pit. So the first command we did to check to make sure Heimdall ran properly, which it did. If it did not run properly, then we would not get this version number output right there. Now that we know that Heimdall can be executed properly, this command is going to test to make sure our drivers are installed properly. Remember, if we did not install the drivers properly, Heimdall will not be able to recognize our Samsung Galaxy phone that's currently connected to the PC with a USB cable. So once all that's typed out, we're just going to press enter on the keyboard. And if everything ran properly, you're going to see a bunch of text scroll on the screen. 
and you're going to notice your Samsung Galaxy phone reboots on its own. Now remember, this whole test is just to make sure Heimdall can connect to your Samsung Galaxy phone. It's not doing anything to the device other than causing it to reboot. But if you're getting an error message here, it's either because the driver is not installed properly or it was unable to establish a connection to the device. You may need to reboot your Galaxy phone and boot it back into download mode and try again. I have had to do that a couple of times with Heimdall. Even though my drivers were already installed, it still was unable to recognize it until I tried to reboot back into download mode and run that print-pit file again. And once we see this type of output, we now know Heimdall is properly set up on our PC. And from here, we can install a custom recovery or any other custom binaries on our Samsung Galaxy phone. And once we have established that Heimdall is able to connect to our Samsung Galaxy device, setup for Heimdall is complete. And again, if you do not establish that connection, you can try a different USB cable, a different USB port, or in my case, I just needed to restart the Samsung Galaxy device, which you can force by pressing and holding the power and volume down button. I just forced the device to restart, I booted back into download mode, and I ran the print-pit file a second time. But that's how to set up Heimdall on your PC. You can see that it is going to interface with our Samsung Galaxy device similarly to how Fastboot interfaces with typical Android devices. We're going to be doing a command like Heimdall Flash, similar to Fastboot Flash. But I'll be covering that in a different video. This one has gone on long enough. There's been a lot of information covered here. Again, I've never used Heimdall before. I'm looking forward to trying it out so that I can test out Lineage OS on my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And that's how to set up Heimdall on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS.